There are many features lined up on the next installment and some of them are known and many of them are known to us, at least till today. Now trying out Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 was a great opportunity to really see what has changed on the next installment. I got the chance to try this out and thought of giving the Draco X a try and this was quite recent. One of the demanded aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and developed by Godfriends, a prominent third-party content creator in the community and a partner for Microsoft. Now the Draco X is an updated refined version of the Draco a heavily modified Vilga 2000 aircraft that's renowned for its impressive capabilities and backcountry flying. With Microsoft Flight Simulator arriving in November of this year, there are so many other aircraft that have been part of the plan, and Draco X is one among them. This is another well-upgraded stole aircraft that was the original PZL Vilga 2000, and as we see it, doesn't really look like a Vilga but sure does have the frame and everything else that has been modified extensively by Mike Beatty an American aviator and aircraft designer. Now this modification involved installing a powerful Pratt & Whitney engine, giving it power for high altitude takeoffs and landings. I tried this flying over Sacramento, Seattle and other places and wanted to really see on how the scenery and the environment has changed in the sim. Draco's modification allowed it to take off and land in very short distances, and that's the beauty of it. It gained a lot of popularity due to its appearance at various air shows and online videos, and the flight simming community was eager to see this aircraft faithfully represented in MSFS. Now talking about the sim, it felt great, and with an aircraft this type, I thought that was a great combination. One of the standout elements is the immersive scenery. Now, during these flights I took, it's clear that the attention to detail in the landscapes, trees, and cloud formations have reached a better level of realism. Yes. Now, close up detail while I'm flying this helicopter. You can naturally stay closer to the sea here, observing the water and little details, giving you a point to observe the terrain's details. And flying a helicopter is a bit tricky, and you can clearly see me try to land here. Not in a great way. But what's more important here is the way the aircraft behaves. Flight behaviors. It feels more convincing to be honest. And I'm not the guy who usually flies a helicopter to be honest. But I can make out some difference.
let's talk about the scenery observations here. Now flying a 8N Warthog as you know it, over a vast landscape. Now the scenery below showcases rolling hills, covered in fall foliage, with a mix of vibrant reds, oranges and yellow. And you saw the way it quickly rendered the scenery. The terrain is detailed, with shadows from the hills casting natural contours across the land. Above the landscape, the sky is filled with large, volumetric clouds. Just take a look at that and how natural it looks. Ranging from scattered cumulus formations to denser cloud coverage, giving the scene a very dynamic and an immersive atmosphere. Let's talk about lighting here. It reflects a late afternoon or early evening time, with soft sunlight filtering through the clouds, adding warmth to the scene. It's natural. Now the aircraft appears to be at moderate altitude, cruising comfortably over the scenic terrain. And quite honestly, I'm flying this just for fun and more importantly trying to observe the scenery in and around. Now the A-10 Warthog is displayed at a good level of detail with its iconic twin engine design. As we do look at it, the aircraft's performance metrics are visible, including altitude, speed and engine power. And yes, the UI has changed to a good extent and a little bit more refined that includes both the instruments as we see it, plus the in-sim UI. I'm quite impressed by the way the clouds and atmospheres have been designed here. The cloud formations add a dramatic layer to the experience, especially when you're flying through different altitudes. They appear volumetric with a greater sense of depth and texture. And it always adds to a realism factor here, meaning it adds to both a visual and a dynamic flying challenge. By the way, the light interacts with them, casting soft shadows over the landscape or filtering the sun's rays that makes the visual stand out. Dynamic weather integration ensures that the cloud patterns are never static, giving you a fresh view every time you fly. Now the distant horizon blends seamlessly with the sky and you can observe the weather systems forming far off, adding a new layer of realism and even at these speeds, the smooth rendering of the environment ensures that the scenery remain sharp and these improvements make the world feel more alive and vibrant than ever before, making every flight a scenic adventure. There were other aircraft I flew and experienced, and I think it felt great overall. I plan to showcase them in more videos to come, and do subscribe to get notified. Until next time, bye bye for now.